My name is Richard Kirkland, and I grew up in Patterson, New Jersey. Patterson, New Jersey is a city, northern part of the New Jersey state. A lot of gang violence, very high poverty rate. I grew up in the projects for about seven years, the Christopher Columbus projects, and uh, there's a lot of broken homes. Sports really helped me in the way of staying positive and on track throughout my life growing up in Patterson, New Jersey. Did not know what rugby was uh, up until maybe like 2010 when I was in college. So prior to that, I, I had no idea rugby was even a sport. I moved down here 2015 to be a youth development mentor for Play Rugby USA. Rugby in the United States is growing, but I feel like the start of it is intervening at a young age, which Play Rugby is doing now. But I think the consistency of the delivery will help the game grow and we will get more, I guess, quality athletes out of that. I'm Kenneth Williams. I'm Aiden Williams' dad, the rugby guy. <laughs> we're right now, we're in Harlem, Manhattan, New York City, the big city of dreams. Alien attends Alina Locke Magnet Schools, uh, PS208. It's a highly African-American school. You know, majority of the school is African-Americans. Uh, within that school, there's a lot of broken homes. Um, but that's where you need, like, mentorships. And that's what uh, this rugby program you know, is, is pretty much helping them do. Hey, hey guys, I'm gonna act like I'm upset. We're gonna sing Happy Birthday, Miss Blanda. Guys, have a seat in your lines. Yesterday, it was just hectic. So we're singing happy birthday to Miss Blanda. We gotta sing happy birthday. In your lines, no talking, face forward, please. We gotta sing happy birthday to Miss Blanda. So Miss Blanda, can you come here for a second? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I She's turning, she's turning, move it up. All right, I want a circle around the rugby ball sitting down, turn. A lot of the kids do not know what rugby is, and usually they throw the ball just like a football. What? What's one rugby skill we can take away from that game? When I first started rugby, I didn't know what it was, so I was just excited to try something new. I, I was a little confused at first. I didn't really know what kind of ball was it? And I never knew how to use it. I, I used to throw it like a football, but now I know how to pass pass it. As soon as we kept on playing and kept on playing, I started to get it more and I started to like it. All right, so the theme of today is play what you see. We've heard this value before. Who here can give us a definition of play what you see? Giselle. Play Rugby does an awesome job with introducing the game of rugby with play. What rugby skills can we utilize during this game of Eagles Take Flight that we'll see in a flag rugby game? Jada, a brick wall. Why do we want a brick wall on defense? Samir. So people that are get don't break through I'll say the game play is what eases the kids into it because I've had sessions where coaches have a certain goal where they want to get through passing with the kids or have a certain like amount of distance with the kids and the kids are just discouraged because there's a lot to take in at one time. But if you play a game like Ultimate uh, Rugby where they can pass the ball in any direction, they can run the ball, they can start to relate the skills that they use outside of the rugby game like football, basketball, baseball, soccer, but also start to integrate it in rugby and, and, and learn ways how they can succeed in these games, utilizing the abilities and the knowledge that they have from the sports they come from. I would like you guys to shout out a classmate that did a good job at some point throughout this gym class playing what they saw. Shashaya, stand up. Who are you shouting out? Shakira. Shakira? Because when we were doing Eagle Take Flight, when she got caught, she didn't get mad. She just kept playing. Well, give it up for Shakira. Thank you. I think that the positivity aspect of the game and of the community, the kids can take a lot from. There will be times where you want to be competitive, you want to win, but there are also times where you can shake that opponent's hand and say, good game, or that was a good play when you did this and that. And it just creates that positive culture. And I feel like with the kids, 
it will teach them when to switch on and when to switch off. After we play rugby, we all like, give each other's pat on the backs and just uh, support each other about when we play. Definitely with Coach Rick, he's um, teaching them how to all be as one, as a unit. This is definitely a sport that once a kid, you know, once they play it, they don't, know, they don't want to let it go. Hope it was definitely something that rugby brought to me, and that's something I think that transitions into the kids that I work with. Because a lot of the kids, I feel as though when I step into a room, like, Coach Rick, I, I just see, like, a change in their spirit. So I say hope, something that rugby brought me.